Good morning, guys. It is um, it's Friday morning, and um, anyway, YouTube video here. A couple of things before we get started. We're going to cover pages 356 through 360 today, and then I'm going to have you submit your chapter 9.2 um, quiz to me. A couple of different ways. Um, I, I'd like to try, and this, there's a learning curve here. I'd like for you to take it and just try to just email it to me. Just take a picture of it email it to me. If that didn't work, whatever manner that you can use to email it to me. And if you have a problem with that, just um, email me, just a regular email, and we'll figure it out. So anyway, sort of what's going on for the next couple of days. Today's Friday. Um, Monday was a professional development day, so I'm not giving you any homework. So this, um, this chapter 9.2 quiz will be due on Wednesday. So I'd like for you just to, um, to email it to me, and then I can grade it, and um, we'll see about putting your first grade in Renweb for the um, for the grading period. Um, so where we're starting today, we're starting on page 356. You know, I told you a couple of times, we talk about sports a lot in class. I told you that the ACC basketball was sort of known as Tobacco Road. And during the 50s and 60s, um, men's basketball at the white colleges or predominantly white colleges got a lot of notice um, nationwide. And um, North Carolina State, UNC Chapel Hill, Wake Forest, and Duke. Um, they hired good coaches like Frank McGuire, Bones McKinney, um, different ones. And actually, McGuire in 1957 guided UNC Chapel Hill to an undefeated season and the um, and a national championship. And what was sad about that on a, another note was that the black colleges, they didn't get as much recognition. So they were still put on the back burner. And... Um, from this point forward, the civil the civil rights movement is is really going to take off. Um, if you look on page three fifty seven, the first paragraph there talking about the civil rights movement beginning, it says after World War II, African American soldiers came home to a country that still did not treat them equally. They had just fought for freedom in Europe, and they were ready to challenge unfair laws and customs in their home country. Having been trained to fight for your country. Then living in a segregated system, you became motivated to continue fighting. So they were very upset that they were drafted to go fight for their country and got home and still everything was segregated. And they were, you know, there was the separate but equal that we talked about, Plessy versus Ferguson, which really was separate but unequal. But some strides are going to be made. Um, I always, again, like for you to look at the pictures. Look at the picture on 357. You can see how everything was segregated. You see their colored waiting room. Um, just th There's a great picture there of a bus station in Durham in 1940. And um, there are pictures like this throughout the next couple of chapters. But um, some strides are going to be made. Floyd McKissick um, was admitted to the law school at UNC Chapel Hill. He's the first African American to, um, to be allowed into the law school at Carolina, and in 1955, UNC Chapel Hill admitted its first black undergrad. So strides are about to be made for the civil rights movement, and we're, we're heading toward the end of segregation. And Chapter 10 is all about the, um, the civil rights movement. Um, somebody that most of you have heard of, um, I would think at some point, you probably read a book about this man somewhere in elementary school, was Jackie Robinson. Um, Jackie Robinson became the first major league um, baseball player that was an African-American. In 1948, President Harry Truman issued orders to desegregate federal government employment, including the armed forces. So strides are about to be made. Um, I do want you to know about Jackie Robinson. And, um, and, and we'll talk about different ones. Obviously, we're going to talk about Martin Luther King. We're going to talk about Rosa Parks, all of the people that started the civil rights movement, John F. Kennedy, all of those people we will discuss. The next big court case that I want you to know about and it's, it's very important. One of the most important court cases in the history of our country was Brown versus the Board of Education. What Brown versus the Board of Education is going to do is it is going to desegregate the schools. So in the case of schools, they ruled separate but equal, violated the 14th Amendment to the Constitution. The justices then ordered southern states to desegregate their schools with all deliberate speed. So Brown versus the Board of Education desegregates the schools. Um, that's going to be a struggle for a while. Um, the, the KKK and other groups that we've mentioned so far this year, they're going to raise their ugly head. And there's some still, there's still some, you know, tough years to come, but it's, it's beginning. And then the last thing on page 360, something again that you've heard about, and you probably learned about her from elementary school, was um, Miss Rose Parks in Montgomery, Alabama. 
She was an NAACP member that was arrested for refusing to give up her bus seat to a white man. And then this just inspired bus boycotting around the nation. And um, the Montgomery bus boycott became the first widely publicized event in what would be soon known as the Civil Rights Movement. And that's where we'll be heading um, in chapter 10. So I wanted to touch base with you and just hit on those last few points in chapter nine. Again, chapter nine, take your chapter 9.2 quiz. You can use your book and your notes. Obviously, everybody should do well on it. Take a picture of it, email it to me, or, or get it to me in whichever manner that you would like to. And if you have any problems, send me an email and we'll go from there. I'll put this information on RimWeb um, as soon as this is finished. And um, it looks like it's gonna be a nice day today. Um, I hope you have a good weekend. If there's anything that I can do or you have any questions, let me know. And um, I will talk to you guys on Monday or Tuesday. See you. Have a good weekend.